Oh god, it's 2 a.m. already. Uh, all right, let's do this video. Uh, so, <laughs> I've been meaning to make this video for a long time now, and uh, because a while back I did a speedrun of Rome in three days, and that obviously means that I'm an expert of Rome, and ge in general I know everything about Italy. So lean back and listen to me butcher all these Italian names. Ostia Antica, it's such a great place. <sighs> <laughs> I was there half a day and it's like an ancient little port city outside of Rome and it's I can really recommend it even if you're not interested in history and you just get this really cool feeling like oh my god people used to live here 2000 years ago like you look at the marketplace and can just really imagine how People used to buy things there, fight over a bunch of V-Bucks. You can see the original street signs. There's a Colosseum, a uh, uh, bath, uh, houses. Like, it's, it's really so beautiful and cool. And there are parrots flying around. So yeah, easy S tiers. Uh, Vatican City. Um, there are like two main things in there the 16 chapel with the cool painting and saint saint peter's basilica not really my kind of stuff so that goes in c tier for me but uh, saint peter's basilica was pretty nice actually castel castelle sant'angelo san san castel san angelo uh, anyways this bad boy will be also a c tier for me because i haven't been inside Actually, anything that I didn't get to see very well will be a C tier. So yeah, Ponte San Angelo is next to Castel San Angelo. It's, I believe, the most famous bridge of Italy, uh, of Rome. I would put it in D tier. Really, nothing special. <laughs> no, I promise. Rome is a really cool city. I don't know why I'm putting everything in C and D tier. The Spanish Steps. Those are actually awesome. They lead right up to uh, uh, some church i forgot the name of and if you go up there the view is actually really nice so and uh, the spanish steps were built by a french person <laughs> the trevi fountain actually it's a pretty interesting history Ooh, now comes our first trash tier it's the public transport of rome it's like really bad <laughs> you should really just rent a bike or whatever just don't use any of the buses or whatever next up oh another s tier uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, Basilica Papale di San Paolo, uh, San Paolo Fuori le Mura. It's like the best church I've ever been to. It's so huge and beauty <laughs> beautiful. I originally didn't even have this place on my travel list. But oh boy, uh, it's a good thing that I decided to visit this place because it's very really oh, nice. nice there. The entry is free and there are like no tourists there. <sighs> and now I'm trying not to fall asleep, so I'm just gonna skip over the next few uh, sites. <laughs> Monumento Nazionale a Vittorio Emanuele II. Pantheon, this pyramid, this castle, Piazza Navona. It has three famous fountains. Uh, the most famous of them is the Fontana dei Quattro Fiumi, I believe. It looks kind of cool. Terme di Caracalla. This is an ancient spa. You get the same feeling like at Lido di Ostia. You can like really imagine how people used to go there and do stuff a few thousand years ago. So this is an S tier for me too. Now the Colosseum was also really cool. I believe it could like uh, fit 70,000 people in it. Uh, the Peloton Hill has a really nice view. It's right next to it and the Forum Romanum also slaps ass pretty hard. So that one I could also recommend. All of these three I would put in A tier personally. Overall Rome would be a strong A plus for me. It's, it's such a nice city. All the sites are uh, cramped together so you can visit everything by foot now there are probably a few things i forgot to rank so here we go <laughs> uh, and uh, the video should end right about now